Good evening, everyone. It's Dr. Tom Workup from the Block Island Medical Center. Today is Wednesday, January 27th. It's also pandemic day 324. I'd like to talk about some local and regional positivity rates, give you an update on the pediatric vaccine developments, talk about Rhode Island's case numbers and vaccine numbers, and finish with an update on Block Island's vaccination schedule. So Rhode Island and the region has really seen an improvement in our positivity rates over the past seven days. Rhode Island has reduced from 5% to 4.1%. Connecticut and Massachusetts have both seen a reduction by more than one percentage point. So we appreciate all the local and regional efforts to make uh, better positivity rates, which takes the pressure off our healthcare system. As of today, we have 50 people in the ICU throughout Rhode Island hospitals and 35 of those individuals are on ventilators. We've had one new case on Block Island over the past seven days. That is an isolated case. There's been no extensions of positivity to our knowledge. So we appreciate all the efforts on the island to mask wear, social distance, hand sanitation, and all the efforts to reduce the transmission of the coronavirus. On the pediatric front, in an exciting update, Pfizer has entered into its phase three trials for children that are 12 to 17 years of age. Moderna has also entered into trials for the same age group. Hopefully we'll hear about their successes over the next several months. On a nationwide, uh, nationwide view, 18 million US citizens or less than 6% have received the first dose of the vaccine. 3 million of the US citizens have received the second dose overall. Moderna has been proven to be effective against the UK variant, the World Health Organization and the CDC feel that the UK variant may be the dominant strain in the US by the summertime. And again, fortunately, Moderna has been tested against the UK variant and appears to be very effective. So that's good news for us. It doesn't appear to be as effective to the emerging, the emerging South African variant, but they are working on a booster modification that will be available later this year uh, to specifically target that variant. Some updates on the anaphylaxis. As you recall that I mentioned that Pfizer had an 11 person per 1 million dose anaphylactic rate. Moderna came out with theirs. And fortunately, another good news item for us is that we're at 2.5 cases per 1 million. So Pfizer's at 11 per 1 million, we're at 2.5 per 1 million, which is a significant reduction and really bodes for the safety of the Moderna vaccine that we get here. The CDC has continued to clarify that for those individuals that had coronavirus, you'll have antibodies for up to 90 days. You should receive your vaccination towards the end of that period of time. You can receive vaccine whether you've had coronavirus or not up to now six weeks after the original dose that gives us an extra two weeks to get people vaccinated. But if for whatever reason due to travel, uh, travel plans, you can always get vaccinated at six, seven or eight weeks. It's just, that's how they studied it. And as a booster, you can get that booster at any time, but within that four to six week mark would be more ideal. On the local front in Rhode Island, we've had 60,900 people vaccinated and 17,291 people have received their second dose. So Block Island's going to add to that number this weekend. We did receive our 70 doses for the individuals that were originally vaccinated from EMS, uh, as well as the medical center. We are receiving an, an additional 20 dosages to help us do first shots for the remaining EMS individuals and other healthcare professionals on the island. So a total of 90 dosages. That will also allow us to revaccinate with the second dose, the original group of 90 plus year old uh, elders on the island so they can be fully vaccinated. Saturday, you're going to witness, if you're over by the Legion Hall, a new way that we'd like to practice to do vaccinations. We're going to hold our vaccination clinic for those 90 people to not only effectively and efficiently vaccinate our individuals, but we'd also like to practice for what it would take for a much larger scale vaccination for the community as we get the hundreds of vaccines that we're hoping to expect over the next several months. So the vaccination clinic is not open. It is for the individuals that had the original shots and those of the EMS crew that are going to get their very first shots.
but it's there for us to practice, critique, and refine our, our uh, approach as we do a larger community vaccination schedule. As of this recording, we still have requested our 470 dosages for those individuals over 75 that have ever been to the health center for more than three years. That gives us a rough estimate of the population. The state has reached out to us this week regarding how many teachers we have, how many ancillary staff within the school, as well as other essential personnel as defined by the Department of Health. So we have put in those requests. We have not received word yet, but I think uh, with all the communications that we've been getting, it's pretty imminent that we should receive notice on what our uh, allotment will be for the community over the next seven to 10 days. Oh, as always, as we get that information, we'll get it out to the community, but we're excited to have a much larger scale vaccination clinic on Saturday, test our model for the community going forward. Positivity rates are down. And as Sam Bird put out on uh, uh, the Block Island Times, the beaches are gonna be open, enjoy the good weather, get out there and exercise. I wanna really have a special shout out for Billy McComb and Kira Ernst that have really continued to help stay involved with the Department of Health and keeping that communication stream and the flow of vaccines and the flow of information uh, timely. So have a great day, enjoy yourself, get out and exercise and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.